Hello Newcastle fans, TV we've signed another player. <laughs> what a week it's been, I'm struggling. I have said this a few times. So we've signed Daryl Murphy. We'll come on that um, in a second. We'll get on the formalities of things. Newcastle kept this quite quiet as the, 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 uh, the Brighton game, which I was at, uh, was going on. They signed him uh, on the Saturday. Um, no video footage of yet as on. That's probably, I think they'll probably wait until the Lazard deal's officially done. Um, the reason why I haven't done a video on Lazard is because I don't bring unofficial news. I hate doing that. Um, report, I should, well, because I, I report the news as well as my own opinions. I don't report on official news. So, he signed. Daryl Murphy, uh, this is what he's uh, said on the website, um, he has said, I'm absolutely delighted to get it over the line and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, when I knew the club was interested, it was a no-brainer for me, so I'm happy that it's done. I think with the squad the players at the club have now, there's no reason why we shouldn't go there about at the, come, the end of the season. What Rafa turned around and said, Daryl has experience and has proven that he can score goals in the championship. It gives us another option in attack, and we could say this, and we could say that from this weekend's game against Brighton that we needed more bodies up front. Uh, Darrell has good attitude, and he can well, he can be very important for us for the season as well. So, I'm just going to click off that because I'm obviously got the the PC in front of me reading this uh, off here, off off in front of you. Right, um, thoughts on him, and we'll we'll try and spin it on a positive as well. I'm like the majority of fans. I'm, I'm not overwhelmed by this signing, kind of like the Keelan Clark one, but um, let's look at the negatives on that. So, yes, he scored 50 goals over three seasons, but his goal scoring record shows that he scores one and three, one and four over his career. Um, he's going to be an alternative to Mitrovic, um, which gives Rafa said in his interview, which gives him options. I suppose that's a positive as well. 22 caps for Ireland, never scored for Ireland as well. That's a little bit worrying. I know all of them won't be full games. Some of them will be like substitute periods, half-time subs and friendlies and so on. But if you look at his record, now I'm going off Wikipedia. I know before you shoot me down that Wikipedia isn't always accurate. I know, but this one looks fairly accurate. Uh, so he started his career off in Luton. Didn't make appearance. Uh, went out and loaned to Harrow. Played three games, didn't score. And then he went out to Waterford United in non-league. Uh, played 99 games, scored 30 goals. So he was scoring one in just over three games. Went to Sunderland, so he knows the area in Sunderland as well. Didn't have a great record there. 14 goals in 110. Struggled at Sunderland. Got left out the side. Went to Sheffield Wednesday on the loan spell. Four games, didn't score. Uh, Ipswich, that's where he went. He had his first spell. Scored six and 18, which is all right. That's one and three again. Went to Celtic. Scottish Premier League, just three goals in 19 games in the Scottish Premier League, which, in my opinion, is equivalent of League One. Uh, I think the league's weak. I don't think Celtic are weak, but I think the league's weak. Went back to Ipswich. Four goals in 33. Really poor at that. Uh, again, had another loan spell the following season. Scored seven goals in 39. Slightly improved. And then recently, in the last three years, he scored 50 goals in 123 games over the course of three seasons. So his goal scoring record isn't great. But I do have to stick up for him. He has played winger on a few of those occasions as well. Um, now he's an out and out striker. Ipswich played his strength. So what does he bring us? What can he bring us? Yeah, some highlight of him. Just 
So yeah, so he scores goals, that's the positive of the Championship. Uh, alternative of Mitrovic, I think Newcastle needed someone like him. I, I, I didn't want him, personally, uh, but we needed someone like him as, as, as in that mould. Uh, mean Fordy, uh, Ford have mercy have said that we'll want uh, Crouchy. Um, that's my alternative for a year, but two-year deal, rumours that it's five million. Uh, there goes my Twitter again, it keeps going off. Um, five million, if that is true, that is five million over two years, that's too much, I'm sorry, like, but it is. Um, but you pay for what you get, I get, I suppose, so hopefully he pays us the goals. I think in the Premier League, though, we could do without him. Championship, I'm happy, but if we get promoted, I'm in two minds about it. Hopefully he proves me wrong. That's what he's there to do. I know he's been shot down. You shouldn't really shoot down your uh, new signings. I know that. Let me know what you think of your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you later.